Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead Cells. So I was doing a little looking around, I adjusted the resolution for the video so it's in 1080p now. Um, I noticed some other things. First off we've got this right here, show the roll, co roll cooldown feedback. That sounds good. Also show a tutorial for the controls was turned on, we don't really need that so I turned that off. We also, I, I ran into this thing, diet, it was on carnivore which explains the food we were getting. So there's vegetarian, fruitinarian, and monster. So I'm curious. Um, so yeah, let's pick up where we left off. Let's see what these changes have in store for us. I accidentally moved a tad while I was let's swap those around while I was doing my thing. How many empty things do we have? One, two, three. That one's broken. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen things left. For ones that I can clearly tell are not broken. Possibly more. Oh, right. Might want to actually attack enemies. So if you double tap, it actually attacks way more quickly. Oh. Oh. I like it. I like it very much. Broadsword. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? I will take this. Just because there's nothing else that we have. There's literally no reason not to. And... It's gonna be one of those runs, guys. I am officially very excited. Guts. Interesting that that counts, despite the fact that, uh... Hmm. 
All right, well, we're not off to a terrible start. I mean, I guess we'll do the War Spear. We're using it, so we might as well. By the way, I apologize if you guys hear that clinking noise in the background. Apparently, uh, Becca is um, doing laundry and did not close the door, so it's making noise. Give this a shot. It's gonna go right there, so we don't have to go far for it. Why was that? Kind of impressed with how well we did. The War Spear is an amazing weapon for going through that. I'll do it. I will do it. Cursed chest. Let's go. That's not the smart way to approach this one. You, why were you not shooting enemies? That was actually quite close. strength. I missed that door though. That's the downside to doing the other room. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that was almost quite bad. said we only need to kill one more enemy while we're here. Yeah, I'm liking the fact that you can double poke with this. It's kind of ridiculous.
So I know I ran past a lot of lower paths. Alright. Let's go back for him. This is the closest warp point, so we'll do this one. I actually don't think that I do. No, we can't get rid of that. What am I thinking? More damage is always good. Plus one, the strength is a little bit better though. And I do like my infantry bow. I feel like that'll be better for the boss. For the second boss, I should specify. Because that is my aim. The first boss, whatever. He's not as big of a deal anymore. The second boss, that is where, well, the real Dead Cells starts there, I suppose we'll say. I doubt I could freeze it. I really doubt that I could. And it wouldn't freeze for any meaningful amount of time either, so it's really just not worthwhile to do. Um, and you know, I guess we'll actually go do the old sewers. Come on now. And I know we did the old sewers last time, but they're more of a challenge, so it's worth our effort to do it. Finish off that. Broadsword. Have I done that already? Am I blind? No, but we'll just do this. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so the old sewers. Good to see that we have some health already down here. Wish there was a more useful item behind that wall. Health up's perfect. That's actually exactly what I want to start seeing. Okay, I was behind you, so I call Shenanigans of the highest order. That blood sword does look like it could be interesting.
Nothing worthwhile. I would not have guessed. I really honestly would not have guessed it was over there. Ooh, the one shot. good at these. If the War Spear is the secret, then I am down for that. underestimated or rather overestimated my roll distance. That's unfortunate. I was doing decent. Interesting, that can get stunned, so these are no longer cheese machines. Sword will be better in the long run, I'm thinking. But as far as our let's spawn the biters. Ow. My ability to jump suddenly is compromised. Okay. Before I go up there.
there's a mushroom up here. A lot of those. No, 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 no. reevaluate everything and we'll just uh, see what we can come up with. That's an important thing to have. I do like fire brands, I really do. Swap that out. I'm going to be stupid. I'm going to attempt use my invisibility that hit though oh fighters I forgot about them horrible idea. We are the definition of a glass cannon. But so long as we can abuse our um, stuff, our invisibility, we will be in okay shape. And I'm just going to keep pushing strength. Because realistically, no matter what, health will not save me now. So I just need to rely on good dodging, good distancing, and the stupid amount of damage that my crits will deal. And that's all I can hope for. This was a bad idea. This was a very bad idea. But, it was my idea, and we're gonna stick with it. This was so bad. This was probably one of the worst ideas I've had in a little while. Yeah. 
I like it very much. Okay, that was very odd. That was unbelievably satisfying. That was so unbelievably satisfying. Now the real question is, can I make it through this next floor without dying? Because this is where it gets hard. You get swarmed with a lot of enemies. I can take advantage of my invisibility. That's the big benefit here. However, I'm still terrified. That is so beautiful. damage I've ever done in a single hit, and it makes me very happy. I'm gonna only have plus 4 to our strength, which will now be plus 5, so now that stupid damage will be even higher. Yeah, okay, I can live with this. I can definitely live with this. Those guys will probably kill me in one shot, though. That said, I can keep using my invisibility. Storm. Just because of the bleed. Yeah, okay, these four thousands, I'm good with this. This makes me so happy. I cannot believe I'm dealing this much damage. I realize that I'm like on the brink of death at all times. But that's okay. Like, it's so totally okay. It's a fun way to play, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, cannon guy. Let's go invisible. Not worth doing. Not worth the risk. Don't. 
that was scary. Phaser 2. It's so good. This is dangerous. If both of them throw their axe at me, I am just dead. Oh! 6,500 damage. back up. Hmm. Good thing I deal crits, cause that was scary. patient. Especially with that guy over there. kill them. It's a bad idea, but I want to do it. I want the cells. And I can one-shot them. It's satisfying. I'll skip the ones in the death cage, but the other ones, that's fine. Death orb. Seven. Ooh.
The boss moves around too much. <laughs> it's so much damage. Well, that takes care of the, uh, well, everything. Cool. see the second one. I thought the second one blew up when the first one did. I thought I baited them properly. Oh. If I hadn't gotten greedy. If I just wasn't greedy. We would have gotten so much farther. We were dealing 6,500 damage at times. Hello. I'm not holding my controller. Why did I roll? We were dealing 6,500 damage sometimes, so that's awesome. And the fact that I threw it away hurts, but it is what it is. So this is where we're ending things on this one, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.